Okay, so here is the Yamaha Pacifica finished. I've got it, uh, the new strings put on, and I'm just plugged into my little Fender Champ practice amp. I've got it uh, for the kind of rock metal sound, which is sort of like... pretty good for that. Uh, the beat sounded nice, the paint didn't affect the pickups. So I'm pretty happy with that. And if I go to a clean sound, now I've generally got only a bit of reverb and some delay on it. And I'll change my selector to the neck pickup and it sounds pretty nice. To mention also this week is that I'm gonna to just turn that down a hair. Um, when we talked last time about alternating the pick and stuff, I was doing four notes per string, one finger per fret. Now the idea with that is you're working your both hands at the same time. This one you're alternating your pick, and this one you're using all your fingers. So to get them all used to, uh, you know, hitting the guitar strings and stuff. Later on we can get into more fancier stuff. Two-handed tapping stuff. Okay, but for now I want you to try and get your pick and your fret hand in tune together. So I'm going to give you something that I call like a universal technical exercise. And again, when I say technical exercise we are not talking music, we're just talking about developing your skills. And what this is going to do is uh, help both your pick hand and your fret hand also, but we're going to do three notes per string like this. I'm going to take three basic shapes, okay? I'm going to call my fingers one, two, three, and four, okay? So the index is one, the pinky is four. Generally, we're not using our thumb unless it's in special applications. <laughs> like Jimi Hendrix used to do, if you ever see videos of him. Uh, he wrapped his thumb around a lot to play the bass notes of certain chords. Anyway, that's not important right now. So we're going to take three shapes. Uh, the first shape is what I'm going to call one, two, and four. So I'm using one, two, and my fourth finger. And I'm going to do that. In whatever position you want to start in, Okay, it's a movable thing. So let's say we're at third fret. We're going to go third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. And you want to go up and down the fretboard like this, alternating the pick all the time. And go backwards after. So that's one, two, four, and then you want to move it up a fret. You want to keep going until you get to 12th fret. Okay, so up and then back down. And that's called the one, two, four exercise. Um, now we're going to do take the same idea and do the one, three, four. So now I'm going to use one, three, and four. And always when I'm talking about missing a finger, there's a fret that's going to be in between those fingers. So if you look carefully, three, four. So that's one, three, four. And I'm going to do that on every string and then come back, always alternating my pick. Now that, those two exercises right there are going to build up your strength. Um, I do those as part of my regular routine every day. Um, uh, using a metronome helps or a drum machine if you can. If you don't have one, well, think about buying one, a, a little digital metronome. You can pick one up for 20 bucks. Um, and that'll give you a steady beat uh, that will 
help you establish your sense of rhythm because you know at one point you'll be playing with a drummer and you want to have that kind of sense of rhythm uh, there are many players who have trouble with their sense of rhythm and it really affects their solo playing uh, a lot of people talk about Eddie Van Halen as a great lead player but if you listen to his rhythm playing and this goes back to my last lesson about active listening He's got some really amazing rhythm playing too, you know? Even just a little riff from Hot for Teacher, I was talking about that one. Okay, well, I didn't play it perfectly, but... He's got some great rhythm if you want to listen to him. Pay attention to some of his rhythm playing uh, from the earlier and the, the newer albums, you know? Uh, so you want to do those two exercises, the one, two, four, one, two, four. Notice I'm skipping that fret because I'm not playing it uh, with the third finger. And then we have the one, three, four. All right, now you have one more, which is the stretch exercise. We're going to use one, two, four. So one, two, and four. But I'm going to put a fret in between each finger, an empty, an empty spot, okay? So if you look carefully, I'm going to go 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. So instead of doing a 1, 2, 4 as I would normally do it, I'm skipping a fret there. So I've got to, I'm able to stretch with the 1st and 2nd finger, and then you can use your pinky for the last one and do it again. Same idea. So... Check that out, try to start those exercises. And uh, well, the, this was about letting us hear what the Yamaha sounds like. It sounds pretty good. It sounds just as good as it did before I painted it. It's got the poppy strat sound, which I'm very happy about um, uh, because I like to play bluesy kind of rock licks. And you don't get that from every guitar. Um, so uh, this one is really close to a Fender Strat, although a Fender Strat uh, will definitely sound better the higher quality one. Uh, I'm not using much. I'm plugging right into my amp. And all I'm using is a bit of reverb, as I said in delay. You don't need a ton of, ton of pedals. In fact, I can turn my effects right off. Right now they're at zero. For sure the sound's drier. <laughs> But it still sounds okay. And I can give myself a little bit of effects just to give it a little bit of sort of mood. So, that's the project finished now. Uh, eventually one day, as I told you, the headstock was damaged and second fret was damaged, and I was able to repair it because I wasn't able to play this note. When I play it, it would slip off the fretboard like that. <laughs> so now it works. So that little cheap fix that cost me about $7 to buy that epoxy, that uh, cold weld epoxy, just to get that because that fret was nipped off. Well, I've got it back now, so that's great, because... For chord playing, it's important. Um, for open chords, especially. So, that's it for today. And this is jam.art.guitars, G-T-R-Z, and I'm Mike. And uh, I hope you enjoyed following me along on this project. And uh, I appreciate all the likes and... Uh, for everyone who's watched it and uh, we'll continue with some more uh, 